Home Bosses. It's lovely to be here again and thank you very much for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about the Tangent Templates Listing Helper and the reason I want to tell you about it is because it's making listing your books on Amazon KDP is so much easier. So let's go and have a look and see how this works. So if you go on Tangent Templates and you can Google that and the first page you see is all the templates. Tangent Templates is a really, really good tool and it's not free, unfortunately, but if there's only one tool that you should get, I would say definitely get Tangent Templates. And I'm not saying that because I get paid for it. Tangent Templates hasn't got an affiliate program. So I'm just saying that because I use Tangent Templates all the time and it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool because it has so many things that you can use and it makes your listing of books so much easier. This is just one of the things that Tangent Template can do. So you can see apart from that, it has a lot of interiors for books. So you can have blank pages, you can have dot grid pages. Uh, there are just so many things. Um, you know, you can see graph paper, shorthand paper, calligraphy paper. But not only that, it also has um, comic book storyboards. It has recipe papers, garden papers, and the best is this November thing, which um, means that they designed a lot of interiors. I'll show you in a minute. Let it just load. So we just loaded the November templates and you can see there are so many different interiors, makeup charts, anxiety management. That's really good for a mental health journal. You get food logs, you get meeting agendas, soccer coaching, audition journals. The list is endless. You can see how many things tangent templates can do. But the one thing that I wanted to show you today is really the, the listing helper. And you find the listing helper up here. So we click on that. I'll show you how, how practical this is. So imagine you have a, a book that you want to list on Amazon, but say you picked a niche and you're going to make 10 books in that niche. So normally you would have to fill in the Amazon details one by one. Um, but with the listing helper, you don't have to do that. You just have to do it the once and then you can use this template to upload the other books in that niche. I'll show you how to do it. So for example, we have the title of a book and we can call it lined notebook. Let's make it a bit more complicated. Let's call it unicorn lined notebook and um, we can call the subtitle Beautiful Notebook Gift for Girls. This is just an example. It's not the greatest title and subtitle, but just to show you how to do that. Um, and then this is really good because this is the description for your book. And like I said in a previous video of mine, the description is really, really important because even though Amazon doesn't um, index the description and it doesn't really do anything with that, Google does index the description. So if you want to be found on Google, if you want people to find your book on Google, make sure that the description is really good. And also because when people look on Amazon and they want to find or they want to buy your book, a lot of people read the description and this is what they base their their decision on. So if the description is really good, it will make them buy the book more than if they see a description that's not very good. So I'm just going to do it as an example now. This isn't a great description now, but just to show you how this works lined notebook gift for girls actually the first sentence should always be the title of your book so let's do that unicorn lined notebook beautiful notebook gift for girls so you should always have the title of your book as 
the first line and you can also make this bold so you highlight it and then you click B for bold so when this gets uploaded onto Amazon it will basically look better that way so then you can write something else line notebook gift for girls um, this notebook is a lovely gift for any child going back to school or college this is a terrible description <laughs> please don't copy this but it's just to show you how i would um, write something normally what i do is i obviously do my keyword research and i look at the book and i, I write out a good description first and then i transfer it onto tangent templates but at the moment i'm just typing it as i'm thinking so <laughs> it's not it's not great but we can just show you so this notebook is a lovely gift for any child going back to college um what else can we say um let's say like why you oops will love this notebook and then we can write bullet points 120 lined pages beautiful unicorn cover design um, excellent uh, for taking notes journaling and keeping as a diary I don't know <laughs> and um, soft matte cover so these are points that you would if you have a, a another book or a different book then you write down all the points why your book is better than all the other books so obviously again don't use this description it's terrible but i'm just showing you as an example so now what you can do is you highlight all of this you click on the bullet points and this will format your text so this is basically how it will upload onto amazon you can play with this you can use italics you can do all these different um, you can put headings in so it's a really good way to format your description so you can copy this description to your clipboard you don't have to but you can do that and then you fill in your keywords your seven keywords for the back end as you know I've got a video about that as well if you want to watch that and it tells you exactly how to fill that out um, you can scan the keywords for categories and it will give you the categories that you can put this notebook in then you type in your author just the same way as you would do that in KDP. The only difference is obviously then this is a template and you can use it over and over again without having to fill in all the details into KDP. You select your category, you say if it's large print or not, and then you give it a name and this is not going to be on KDP. This is just for you so you know how to identify it so let's let's actually do this let's put in some keywords so that you know so this is a notebook journal we don't have to put notebook in again because it's already in the title and the title always has more weight than the back end keyword so the title is more important and if you've already got the keyword in the title you don't need to repeat it here but let's just put some keywords in so to show you how this works journal notebook journal diary planner it's not a planner but <laughs> we can put planner in for now so we've got notebook journal diary planner let's do gift for girls students school oops uh, actually let's do this back at school because that's a good keyword to have so it's a gift for girls students back at school who else can it be a gift for for or oh, it can be for birthdays it can be for Christmas so we just carry on on the next line Christmas um, boys like unicorns as well so it can be for boys for daughter for son for sister brother 
So some people might type in gift for sister or gift for brother. So you can see how more or less how we're doing this. You would fill this out with all your keywords. So we scan the words for categories. So the categories that this has picked up is school and college, seasonal school and college. So it's it's helpful, I find. Sometimes I don't know what categories to put it in, and this gives you some ideas. You don't have to choose these, but it's an idea to choose that. So the author is Tom Smith. Very unusual name, <laughs> not really. Let's just say that as an example. More options. Let's have a look. So it's not a series, so we leave that blank. We select category one. And you can either use the category search and type in notebook. Let's see what what it's coming up with. So I can use one of these. You know, these categories are not ideal, but the categories that Amazon suggests for you to put your books under are not really ideal when it comes to things like notebooks or coloring books. There's no category as far as I know for a coloring book. Not in this category section on Amazon. The customer categories, they are more precise. And I will make another video on how you can ask Amazon to place your books in other categories as well. You can actually have up to 10 categories. But I will show you that in another video. For now, we just have to find two categories to put our notebook in. So let's just do this quickly just to show you the example. I'm going to put this under business. I'll click select. This is just as an example. It's not the perfect category. I would probably, to tell you the truth, I would probably select the category myself. And the way to do that would be to, to go on the category browser. And then I always go to nonfiction. And then I choose for a notebook. I think it does fall into the business side of things. If it's a unicorn, you could look and see if there's a, a fairy tale or children's category that this can fit in. But if it's a notebook, I always put it under things like organization because you, you use it to organize yourself or under business. Um, so let's do it under, let's have a look. Under organization would be house and home and cleaning, caretake and organizing. I know it's not cleaning, but it is organizing because sometimes you use a notebook for that. So the categories are not um, exact what you're selling. You're selling a notebook and there's no category for notebook. So you have to be a little bit creative. So we select this category and we leave that as a no. It's not large print. It hasn't got adult content and I'm going to call it unicorn notebook. So obviously you will take your time doing this much better than I have just done. It's just to show you for this video. So then you click save and what you do then is you download this free Chrome extension. So you install this extension in your browser and then you go on to KDP to put in your, your details. Let me show you. Hopefully it will load in a minute. Sometimes it takes a little while. So now we've loaded our KDP bookshelf and we want to list a paperback. So we click on paperback and now it's loaded. We go on to the Chrome extension. It's up here, the Tangent Templates Chrome extension, and we click that. So we click on the extension and then we refresh saved listings. If we don't do that, then the last listing that we have created won't be on there. So we just click refresh saved listing and then we can see Unicorn Notebook is up here. And then all we have to do is to click this and it will automatically fill in all the details for our KDP listing. And there it is. So now it, everything is there. Unicorn lined notebook, beautiful notebook gift for girls. Our keywords are here and Everything else is filled in and then we go save and continue. And then all we have to do is fill in the rest, assign the free ISBN and do the rest. And it's so much simpler. Now, every time we want to upload a notebook, we don't have to write the whole description again and fill in all the things that you have on the first page. You just click on the little extension, click 
on the book you want to upload and if you have to change the title it's easily done or the subtitle you can add keywords if you wanted to you know so you can still change it a little bit but it's not as difficult as filling everything out from scratch so this is how i upload all my books and it's especially useful if you choose a niche and you decide to make five books in that niche and then you want to upload all five books they're all the same more or less but this saves you so much time so it doesn't take me a long time to upload my books so this is how i use the tangent listing helper I hope you found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. I can't say it enough. I really appreciate every single one of you. It's great that you are listening to my channel and following me. So thank you very much for that. And for those of you who are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can get updates. And all that I need to say now is thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.